Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another Brawl Stars video. Today we've got a round of balance changes coming to the game. So I want to go over those real quick. It's not going to be a long video, but I want to give you guys the info on all the new stuff coming into the game. So let's go over the nerfs first because these ones were definitely needed. And then we'll go over the buffs and then we'll go over ones that I think maybe are missing from this list that maybe should have been there. So first off, the first nerf that we got is to Colt. They have decreased his main attack and super damage from 300 to 280. So it's a small damage nerf, not a big one. I think he does like 420 at max, so he'll do 400. I think that's the way it scales. But from at base level, 300 down to 280. Likewise, also getting a damage nerf to their both the main attack and super is Crow. They are reducing his main attack and super damage from 300 to 280 as well. Exactly the same thing as Colt. Again, this is well needed because Colt, Crow, Rico, and Dynamite have just been everywhere. And Colt and Crow definitely needed that nerf. And adding right onto that list is Rico. Rico gets his main attack and super damage decreased from 300 down to 280. So all three of those, Colt, Crow, and Rico, all three get their damage decreased just by a little bit. Hopefully that'll help bring them back in line because... Everywhere you go, all you see is Crow and Rico and Dynamite and Colt's been pretty bad too, but not as bad as the others, I don't think. So Colt was a little more on the edge of, you know, really needing it, really not. So it is close, but I, I can still totally get on board with this. Um, next up to the buffs. Get some, some brawlers that definitely needed some buffs. And starting off with our favorite Luchador, and that would be El Primo. They are increasing his main attack damage from 320 to 340. Primo was just outclassed by almost all the other, you know, tanks and melee brawlers that, except for Mortis, um, that, you know, they needed to do something. And he already has a ton of health, so they increased his main attack damage just a little bit from 320 to 340. Hopefully that'll make it to where you see a little bit more El Primo because you're not seeing a lot of him right now, and for a good reason. Um, also getting a buff is our favorite long-range sniper in a dress. That's right, Piper. She is getting her main attack reload time decreased from 2.5 seconds down to 2.3, which is a pretty healthy buff. So she will be able to fire out those shots even quicker than normal. And if she shoots from the bushes with that star power, that rainbow's rainbow shots, it's going to be really deadly, and they'll be coming at you pretty fast. So watch out for Piper. Might be a good time to push your Piper if you really need to. So... Next up is Poco, who just got a buff, and they're giving him some more. He just got a damage increase buff, and now they are decreasing his main attack reload time from 1.8 seconds to 1.6 seconds. So he's definitely getting a, um, th again, that's a pretty substantial reload time buff. So that's going to make it to where he can fire off those shots quicker as well. And he's already doing increased damage, but... He's been pretty well outclassed by Pam for quite a while now, honestly. And so hopefully this will bring Poco back into line where you'll be able to see him and Pam, you know, equally as, as the way it should be. The, both the two healing support units um, be really good for them. And finally on our buffs is Shelly. Shelly just got a buff again. She got a health increase buff last time. This time they're increasing her main attack range from 6.67 tiles to 7.33 tiles, which is a pretty, I mean, that's a, that's almost, that's what, uh, half of a tile uh, or just over. I can't do math. It's about a half tile. Yeah, it's half tile. So that's going to be a, a pretty good buff to Shelly, and I'll be... I think that that's really going to have Shelly come back in a lot stronger than she has been. So she'll be able to poke and prod from a little bit more distance. And then, of course, she's always been super deadly up close. So um, look for more Shellys coming in at you out of the bush in the near future. I'm scared already because Shelly, she's, she's deadly when she gets right on top of you. So this will give her a little bit more range and she'll still have that deadliness up close. So, so that's going to be the nerfs and the buffs. However, there's some brawlers that I think that are missing from this list. First off... My good friend Dynamite. I just talked about him a couple videos ago that I think that he needs some sort of nerf. And I, I don't know if it should be throw speed nerf or damage nerf, but one or the other, I think, because it's still really hard to dodge his shots um, because they travel so fast. And that's fine if they want to make it to where it's hard to dodge his shots. That's completely fine. However, they should take away some of that damage. Uh, you shouldn't have almost unavoidable damage, you know, <laughs> when it's that great. So I still think that, you know, old Dynamite still should have been on the nerf list, but he wasn't. He, he got a pass this time. We'll see about next time. And the one that I, I'm really surprised didn't get a buff was Mortis. Mortis, you know, uh, he, he still has some maps where he does well, but old Mortis, he definitely still needs a, still needs a buff. I mean, with auto-aim, 
It's definitely has gotten a lot better in my opinion auto aim. I don't see it as much as I used to, but it's still definitely there. And with Mortis, whenever you get close, it's it's generally better to auto aim when you get close. So Mortis is still suffering at the hands of auto aim or quick fire as they're calling it now. Um, and I think that he could definitely use some sort of buff. What, what that is, I don't know if that's a a range buff on his attack or more health. Or more damn, I don't know, but I think that he needs something, maybe even a reload to let him have a little bit more mobility. I'm not really sure, but I still think uh, Mortis could definitely use a buff as well. So, um, didn't see it this time, but maybe he will next time. Cross your fingers if you're a Mortis lover. So we just got through with a Duo Showdown. How did you guys like Duo? If you missed it last time, you're definitely going to get to see Duo Showdown this time. And you guys let me know in the comments down below. How did you like Duo Showdown? Was it fun? Did you guys really enjoy it? Um... I actually had a blast. Me and Kairos played a lot. Um, and if you guys didn't see those videos, go check those out because those were a lot of fun. We had had a great time in Duo Showdown. I, you know me, I'm not a Showdown guy, but that mode is a blast and I really enjoyed it. I didn't hardly see any teaming whatsoever, so thank you for that. Um, uh, it's like a fresh new take on Showdown. Just adding the teammate makes it so much more. It's double the fun. It's double the fun. So. Like I said, it's not going to take up too much of you guys' time. That's just all the buffs and the nerfs and the ones that I think probably should have been in there as well. Uh, you guys let me know what you think of these balance changes in the comments down below. Is there a brawler that wasn't on this list that you think should have been? You guys let me know that in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Let's out. All right, so listen, there's two types of people in this world. Those that make it to the end of the video and those that don't. You know, congrats on being one of the awesome ones. While you're here, think about subscribing. Just click that button right above my logo there or go check out those videos right over there because, you know, you're like I said, you're one of the awesome ones. So uh, you deserve some more. Treat yourself to another video.